All right, live. Good stuff. Um. Why is there that away? Third. All right. Uh, okay. Now announce. And announced. Excellent. All right. Arrange everything. Some peoples. Have ominous no sound. Dead. Yeah, that's all fine. All right. I'll just wait a couple of minutes before I launch into a new game because, as always, it has a uh, has a scene at the start that sets the tale. We have a narrator in this series of the game. All right. Well, in a couple of minutes, I am just gonna let the game play. I hope the sound will be okay. Uh, I did adjust it. Hopefully it shouldn't be too loud. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Let us start episode two of Sam and Max season three. This great city has been witness to many strange scenes, but none so staggering as the one that played out here beneath her slumbering streets just seconds ago. An evil space ape bent on world destruction, thwarted by a six foot tall dog and a rabbity thing with psychic power. We sure a tiny did that. conclusion to an improbable story, or so it would seem for about five nanoseconds, until our heroes turn and see something so unexplainable, so horrifying, as to render evil space apes suddenly quaint. Skeletons! How could you, Sam? There you stand, a sickening grin on your face, your great hairy mitts clutched around my dear little silky white neck. Mother warned me it would come to this, but I couldn't bring myself to believe her. I could be wrong, Max, but I've got a hunch this isn't us. These horrifying skeletons are meant to convey a message of some sort. There's a story behind this grisly tableau. Aha, a note. What's it say? There's a story behind this grisly tableau. I like what the note actually does I'm say that on it. Nitrate-coated film from the dawn of the age of cinema. I'll just pop it into this conveniently placed projector. No mm. fair, Sam. You got to pick the movie last time. Shut up and enjoy the show, Max. Egyptian-y. The note is pretty great. I love that it actually does say that on it. You can actually read it. Woo! Ooh, it's a silent film. Ooh. Thundering tin types of Teddy Roosevelt in a three-wheeled baby carriage with a bonus jar of mustache wax. That's none other than my great-grandpa Samoth with your great-grandpa Maximus. I can't hear what they're saying. It's a silent movie, little buddy. Filmed before the invention of vocal cords. Can't find the volume knob, huh? Let me... No, get away. I want to mess with it. Come on. Oh, get, get off the... Uh, my, uh, my, uh, my... Uh, 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 huh? Something's hmm. happening, Sam. My aura is going all squirrely. I feel it too, Max. Some irresistible force is pulling me through the frame of that movie. We've got it, little buddy. The toy box is ours. 
along. Kringle. I want <gasps> that toy box. Chris Kringle, no. This is I one mean... of those situations where it would be helpful to have a gun. Or psychic powers. Psychic powers, that's right. We keep forgetting you've got unexplainable <laughs> psychic powers. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. does Sam Hill are you hiding? All right. So we are in the bodies of our great great grandfathers. I you I guess. Hiding, you? <laughs> hiding from Santa Claus. He wants the devil's toy box because uh, I I guess the devil is into evil possessed toys. Uh, hi, it's Maximus. I believe we're really in Egypt. I thought it would be sunnier. That's fair. All right, let's see what psychic powers we've got. Ooh, okay. We've got Astral Projection, Cano Nuts, and Red Psychic Ventriloquism. I wonder if our notebook tells us what they do. Ah, there we go. Come out, come out, wherever you are. So we can throw Max's voice into people and things. That's nice. Also, let me know about the volume levels. I think I got them right, but if they're a little low or a little high, just let me know. Astral Projection allows present day Max to jump forward and backward in the movie. Ooh. And Cataracts allows Max to squish down and then expand again. Okay. I want that toy box! Oh, boo hoo, Chris Kringle. Oh, what, actually, what have we got in our inventory? Where are you hiding, blast you? We, we have cookies. Box. I not look at them just now? I guess guess not. There's no escape for you. All right, let's go. Uh, okay, okay. Good old Charlie Hotep. Thanks to him, I am gifted with the miraculous ability to throw my voice into people and objects. Yeah, I'm still not sure ventriloquism counts as a psychic power. <laughs> that's fair. That's that's fair. All right, so we could do it with a squid statue. I could do it with Sam. Oh, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Miss Kren, thank you so much. There's the tomb idol. Woo, I love this episode. Yeah. Ha, that sap Kringle will never find us in here. <laughs> ha, there you are. Watch out for falling squids! <laughs> let's take this toy box and skedaddle, little pal. Yeah, let's do that. Champion ventriloquizing, Maximus. Now all we've got to do is read those hieroglyphics again, and the door will open and we'll be golden! Right. Uh, you don't remember how to read hieroglyphics, do you, Maximus? <laughs> Fat chance! But you do, right, Sam? Uh, nope, mm, nope, mm, no, mm, nope. Come on, Dora, you remember the thing we said to get in. Oh, this is rich. Ho, <laughs> ho, 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 <laughs> Oh, that went well. That was interesting. A little skimpy on character development. That can't be the whole story. Must be yes. Ah, more. Oh, great! Did we just like watch the end of the movie first? Yep. Oh, I think that yep. was the middle. Which one's the beginning? Not a clue. Which one do you want to try? Ooh, okay. So that was a standoff. We have the challenge, the train to Egypt, and the big reward. All right, guys. Should we start with number one? Should we start at the beginning or just go straight to the end? Oh yeah. Yeah, you uh put any on and then press the button. Button, button, who's got the button? I think we'll start at the beginning, although I know you do have to like jump. So yeah, let's let's see what the, the beginning is. I like this episode thematically. I hate some of the puzzles in it. Some of the puzzles in it are just garbage. Yes, the gimmick and the themes of it are actually really cool. I just hate the puzzles. I 
Hello, Commissioner. I love all the references you can see in the uh, Seasons 1 and 2 in here. Oh, there's a Tomb of Seven Max. Ah, we've seen that projector now and that can of nuts. Telephone. Tumen Samunt Mac. Ooh, based on this 19th century zoetrope, huh? Our oh, good old New York City, baby! Yeah! Who saw the little yes. spunks? Nah, he's still fishing for us under the candy counter. Shh, show's about to start. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, devotees of the uncanny and the bizarre. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Monsieur Pepperweight, and I bear great tidings, an archaeological discovery of earth-shattering proportions. My friends, I present to you, the Sphinx! Ugh, it's horrible, Samoth! The face of pure evil! The stage is that way, schmucko. <laughs> she will yield her secrets only to one whose powers are equal to those of Samun Mak himself. May mm. you be that favored individual? I have come to your fair city today to issue a challenge. What you see before you is not merely a pasteboard facsimile, but a perfect recreation of the tomb's outdoor fortifications. To the one who makes it through the gate, I offer two tickets to Egypt and a chance for the adventure of a lifetime. You get any of that, Sam? All right, Life why not? The guys who can bust through that thing. Busting things is our specialty. You read my mind, little. It buddy. really is. All right, okay. So there's a uh, jolly old Saint Nick. Hey, buddy. Oh, we get to Excuse steal his jar of yes, cookies. <laughs> no, no Wee. more toilet breaks till the job's done right. Understand? We, um, we're not your underlings. Huh? I got no statements for the press. I want those cookies. We know we get those in the future. We saw them in our inventory. How about a cookie, Kringle? Go away! Oh. It's just my pal here hasn't eaten in 72 hours. Forever. <laughs> you had such a kindly face. Oh, for the love of... You're okay. But just one, Savvy! Literally all of them. I don't get it. What's an important looking guy like you doing in a two-bit amusement palace like this? What's to get? This paperweight character says he's made some kind of big discovery of a toy-related nature. I make it my business to keep up with all new developments on the toy front, okay? If you say so, Santa. Why aren't you up there attempting the challenge of the Sphinx? My underlings are handling that for me. <laughs> I see. Scared to try it yourself, huh? Oh, hell yeah. Nicholas St. Kringle is scared of nothing. Sure, buddy, sure. Here, let me help you up. Keep your pincers off me, you drooling little cretin. If you had the teaspoon of brains necessary to do your job, I wouldn't be down here. Help, he's fallen and he can't get up. Okay, what do we got here? Inventory list, profits, losses, naughty, nice. Hmm, employee addresses. Looks like Kringle's employees all live in that elf ghetto. You mean little Arctic Circle? Yeah, it's slightly disturbing. Have you disturbing. seen this baby? Sure. She's right there on that milk carton. That's... that's fair. They have a pile of cookies. Ooh, cookies? Hmm, cookies. Yeah, steal his shit. I don't think we can actually steal anything more Looks than like that. Looks like Kringle's employees all live in that elf ghetto. Yep. You mean Little Arctic Circle? So, yeah, that's all we... that's what we get for distracting Santa, I guess. For now, anyway. Put 
Nikki's jar of cookies. Hello. Hey, Fats. How about you and the Lagomorph take a nice walk on the Brooklyn Bridge, crosswise, and keep going? Aw, oh, don't you just want to tousle his little bald scalp? No, I kind of want to kick his scrawny little ass, to be honest. Nope, I guess I have to walk this way up on the stage. Ah, here come a couple of hearty specimens. Gentlemen of the boulevards, no that Go on, beat it, mister. <sighs> yeah, quit blocking the view. Lovable little sprites, aren't they? I wanna beat hug them it. their wee rib cages buckle. Hell yeah, alright, let's let's talk to talk to Papier Wait. Give it a whirl, my friends. The challenge of the Sphinx is open to all, regardless of age, prowess, or physical deformity. <laughs> mean? Yeah, Lagomorph, yeah. That, that's what Max says, he's a Lagomorph. Remind me, what do we win if we beat this game? An all-expenses-paid trip to sunny Egypt. Egypt? Now, is that with the alligators or the crocodiles? Your ignorance of giant carnivorous reptiles is embarrassing me, Maximus. Like a morphs are bunnies, and he's a bunny. That can of nuts looks oddly out of place up there. That is no ordinary can of nuts. It's a can of nuts from the devil's toy box. Yep. What makes it so out of the ordinary? Far be it from me to divulge the secrets of the devil's toy box. But it's just possible that this can does not actually contain <gasps> nuts. My god. What is your angle? Why go to all the trouble of rigging up a challenge of the Sphinx? If you're the big expert, why don't you just go through the mouth yourself? Knowledge alone is not sufficient to overcome the Sphinx's defenses, alas. The Seeker must be special. Hmm, well, you know who's special? Max. Who's the codger with the ugly kids? Is he bothering you? You want we should pants him? That's Nicholas St. Kringle, the well-known toy tycoon. He's offered me a fortune to direct him to the tomb of Samun Mak, but his money is of no interest to me. What's no toy money? No money. Talent? That is what I am searching for. Yeah, like a borsh be bunnies. Know anything about the dame with the beady eyes? Mole people. The bane of my existence. Why are they always following me? Spill the secret, buddy. How do we make it through this challenge of the Sphinx? I can talk you through the sequence of steps, but you must pass through the mouth of the Sphinx by your own power. All right. To begin, simply step on to the beseeching mat. Mm -hmm. Beseeching mat? Her tongue. And then... In other words, you don't have a clue how this thing works. Yeah? Of course I know how it works. I built it. But despite all my arcane knowledge, only one granted the gift has the power to pass through. Hmm, all right, buddy. Thanks, your impresario ship. Give the challenge of the Sphinx a try, boys. What have you got to lose? Ah, uh, my life, my will. Everything on and above. Yeah, this is just, like, exit, so, like, I can go back and choose another, uh, reel. Hmm, I guess I can't look at the audience. All right. Like, I wonder if we can talk to that mole woman. I'm like... Anyone else? Ah, there we go. I knew we could talk to the mole woman. Look, Samith, a quaintly dressed mole person reading a hieroglyphic newspaper. One of the colorful, unwashed immigrants, little pal. The city's teeming with huddled masses of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> strip, very funny. Mm hmm. All right. All right. Well, I, I guess we should try this. Uh. The Sphinx has awakened. You are indeed a seeker of substance. We Ooh. like to say he's pleasantly plump. Mm. Place your offering in the divine nostrils. Uh, do, do, do you want? Do you want some cookies? May the divine odor of chocolate chips prove pleasing to thy nasal cavities. Very good. You have passed the first threshold. All right. Now, recite the words of the inscription. Hmm, that's tricky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, unsuccessful ploy, vain attempt, desperate bluff, feeble effort, or embarrassing gambit. I, I think I'm gonna go for the embarrassing Sports gambit. pal, you remember us, don't you? Sure he does. He couldn't forget these faces. Let us in, buddy. 
boy, it's been ages. Oh, sorry, not a vain attempt. Embarrassing it was. <laughs> My hieroglyphics uh -huh. are a little rusty. Mm hmm So, yeah, fruit, snake, wiggle, wiggle, bird. Wiggle, wiggle, bird. Ooh, hello. Woo! What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? was a disconcerting twist on an old joke. Uh, Power came from me, Sameth. My body's all tingly. I've never felt anything like it. You may notice a lot of bodily changes over the next few years, little buddy. It's all part oh, of... <laughs> hey! Now, where did they run off to? Hmm. Whee! Well... Me thinks we have to chase down, uh, chase down a couple of assholes. Can I actually just like? <laughs> the, ooh, look at the fake cannon nuts. Think this substitute cannon nuts will work the same as the original? Yes. I have my doubts, no. Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of the ancients. It's a surefire mm. laugh getter, anyway. Yeah, but it didn't make me all tingly like the one the elf swiped. We've gotta get that can back, Sameth. All right, so yeah, we gotta go after the elves, and I'm sure at some point we have to go after the hieroglyph, uh, hieroglyph reading lady. Ooh, funny papers. Yeah. So we can see what the word is. Hmm. Ah, that's the other thing we have. Hieroglyphic funnies. I'd be splitting my sides if I could read ancient Egyptian. Hell yeah, they're so funny, Sam. You really should like brush up on your hieroglyphs. Where are we going, Samith? Little Arctic Circle. Hell yeah, we are! Whoop, whoop! <laughs> oh, those title cards are great. I forgot about those. Filthy elves! Oh shit, I remember this town. The sacred relics of the mole people! Ah, oh, lay off! Go on, burrow back where you came from! Yeah, go chew on an earthworm, you friggin' undergrounder! Ha! I curse you! Ooh, I'm quaking in me little elven booties. Why can't we all get along, Semeth? Because most of us are a little buddy. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I got stuck in this episode in various places, and there's, this is one of them. Uh, this episode is really, really difficult. All right, let's just go back to the theater. Hey, assholes! Hey, I'm mildly disturbed to see you torturing this elf. Yeah, elf torturing should be left to us professionals. Oh, oh hell yeah. Icebox don't mind. He likes it, don't you, Icebox? <laughs> Icebox is very cooperative. It don't hurt that he's full up on jolly juice. <laughs> that's, that's true. Alright. What's the matter? You get off at the wrong stop or something? Sure. Well, like you generally steer clear of little arctic circle. Is, is this a gang place? Ooh, oh yeah, we're, we're totally union organizers. We represent Toymakers Local 614. Stand up and be counted! No contract, no work! Pipe down! We don't need that kind of trouble. We got a cushy setup here. Five hours off every other month. Oh, and we just <gasps> last week talked the boss into taking the steel tip off the whip. Don't uh, house it up for us. The, the, yeah. Oh, man, that is such a sweet ride. You know, five hours off? So good. What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Boykin, what does it look like? Special job for Mr. K himself. We's in the toy and novelty racket, see? We swiped, uh, that is, we managed to acquire this nifty little gizmo here. Sports a couple of interesting features. We cracked a code and Boss Kringle makes a fortune selling it over the holidays. Which means big bonuses for the likes of us. Ah, uh, if he say so. We'll never manage to reverse engineer that can of nuts. It only works in the presence of Max's ineffable aura. Right? Mm -hmm. I hate to say mm -hmm. it, but you guys' auras are just plain effable. Ooh, uh, burn! Come on. You chumps got no more claim on this can than we do. Only we got it, and we're keeping it, see? We'll see about that, you bonsai bandits! No, Maximus? I 
think we should go. Huh? They're only gonna kill themselves trying to figure it out. Meanwhile, we've got the toy idea that's gonna set the industry on its ear. Ooh. See you in the funny papers, suckers. Wait a minute! <laughs> The boss will pay big if we bring him a great new concept. And Ooh. it's true, we ain't getting nowhere with this can of nuts. Tell you what, Polly, we might be willing to work out a tray. Give us your toy idea. If it's really a winner like you say, we'll let you have the can. No fuss. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally, totally an adventure game. Mm -hmm. And kids for kids, uh-huh. Oh, boy, oh, boy, guys. Inflatable dartboard. Oh, yeah. Everyone loves sausage stuffers, right? But I think we, we gotta go for the uh, all, all better adventure game. We can click adventure game. Hell yeah! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. <laughs> it's a board game. A top hat, an iron, and a little dog go around building hotels, and you're all trying to make each other go bankrupt. Interesting idea, but I don't think it'll fly. The kids ain't into capitalism nowadays. Oh, well, that's very true a hundred years from then. My Little Pony Keg. With braidable hoses. Hmm, kids love beer. Yeah, but Mr. K don't. Hmm, all right. It's a coiled up spring you push downstairs. Hey, I like pushing things downstairs. Ooh, slinkies. Ah, some idea. Our slinkies are the best idea. It's an what incredible dartboard. Uh, uh, tried that last year. It was a bust. Yeah, all the kids about that, that communalism these days. It's good old communalism. My first sausage stuffer. A fun way to dispose of leftover lunch meat, household vermin, and scabs. Ah, oh, please. You're making me heave here. Well, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact... You got nothing. We nope. got something, all right. But we're holding out on you. Gotta clear it with the boss first. You do that. Come back when you're ready to talk toys. And if your idea's as hot as you say, we'll kick the can over to you. Mm -hmm. Kick the can. <laughs> Good one, Slushy. Shut up. Those round-headed rats, they can't do this to me. I, I mean him. Ah, that can of nuts belongs to Maximus by right of psychic possession. Mm -hmm. But unless our great-grandpas can dig up a great toy idea, I'm afraid they're out of luck. Oh, we don't need no, no great toy idea. No. Mm. All right. Anything else? Okay, so we need a good toy idea. Ooh, snowballs. Genuine snowballs, hand carved by immigrant elves. Yeah. Can't do anything with them, though. Excuse me, buddy. I wonder if you could direct me to... Wait a minute. This isn't a real man. It's one of those snowmen they make to fool visitors to Little Arctic Circle. I'm sure that's why they uh, make snowmen. So. Ooh, hitching post. Have you got a quarter for the hitching post? The horse got towed, Sameth. Remember? Ah. Uh, yeah, they got their they got their horse towed. All right. Ooh, room for rent. Room for rent. Huh? Ha, you'd have to be pretty desperate to take a room around here. Yeah, you may or may not. <laughs> If you actually look at this street, you, uh, you may recognize this street. There's straight and narrow. Two, two slightly familiar looking buildings and a familiar looking alleyway. Let's, uh, let's go inside the building. Maybe we came at a bad time. Well, wait, Skate, we're, uh... What's this? Do not touch. It's visual component of powerful curse I am throwing on Elf out the window. He think he can make on me smart guy wise crack. Ha! We see how smart he feel after he become a umpire. An umpire? No, no, with the, uh, uh, sucking of blood and uh, the sleeping in coffins. Oh, a vampire. Yeah, a vampire. Ooh, hand pump. Look, Sameth, she's got one of those newfangled hand pumps. Ooh. Yeah, the vampire. Hand pump. Oh, I, I guess we can just uh, talk Excuse to the lady. Excuse me, sir or madam. 
I can see you're busy muttering to yourself, but... Why you break my concentration on cards? You in cahoots with disgusting elves, no? No. Wait! Mishka Lisa Duja Fizzle Einzefeld. It is you, not boy. Yep. Sameth, she just called me nut boy. The one with great power of body to squeeze himself down to kind of nut yard. And that's Max, he's oh, nut boy. Yeah, yeah, it's me, nut boy. Yep. Nut boy. Oh, rotten, stinking, disc sick elves. So long I am searching after sacred cannon nuts stolen from the tomb of Samunmak. To find it in theater, to see it making with glorious magic nut boy squished down with fat doggy friends. Hey, huh? hey! And then Stop calling him fat! It to grab He's just big bones! Sacrilegious maggot elves. Oh, for the strength of ten moles to crush them to paste. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we sense you anger. You seem upset. Mm -hmm. Would you like to talk about it? You, not a boy and fat doggy friend. You will come to aid of pitiful mall woman. You will take Kananot back from nasty elves and bring it to mall woman. I'm um, sure. The first mm -hmm. part, anyway. I mean, perhaps mm -hmm. there is something mall woman can do for you. I mean, that's true, actually. Uh... We're in need of a hearty chuckle. Can you read us something from your hieroglyphic funny pages? Let me see. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Mole mates creating much merriment up and down the Nile. Ooh. In first pan, husband Mole say to wife, You very angry with me, no? You can see it's true because wife Mole have scorpions crawling from the eyes. <laughs> In second panel, husband say, It's because you caught me. Oh, how you say it uh, as uh, uh, making the monkey dance with the beautiful temple mole maiden who have the sensuous quivering nostrils. And in the third panel, husband is falling over backwards from great astonishment when the wife saying to him, No, it's because you cut the cucumber lengthwise. <laughs> oh, you get it? Because oh, who cuts a cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. It's crazy, no? Yeah. I mean, can you imagine what kind of crazy nut would? I mean, that's... Americans have no sense of humor. Yeah, that, that, I found that to be true. How, how many comic strips down do you think we can go? All right, guys, strap in. I'm sure the famous mole humor will come through to us if you read another strip. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Oh. Everybody loves Fred Jackal. Fred Jackal is always up to amusing hijinks. Oh, oh, here, Fred Jackal hiding under the bed. His master said to him, Come out, Fred Jackal. I am not angry for you for making in center of living room carpet a steaming pile of dung with many flies buzzing around from the stink. And now, in little bubble of thought, Fred Jackal is saying, He does not know. I cut the cucumber <laughs> lengthwise. <laughs> Cucumber, cut it lengthwise. <laughs> it's funny. It's very funny. <laughs> Never will I understand this country. <laughs> so she says to him, I can't believe you cut the cucumber lengthwise. <laughs> yeah, timing is off. Uh, that's true. That wasn't anywhere near as funny. This vampire, or er, vampire curse, how does it work? Is it instantaneous? Oh, super instantaneous. Oh, my magic only sets process in motion. Cursed elf think himself safe now, but wait till he runs oh, into so a vampire. Like... Ha! Nothing can save him then. All right, you want, you want to curse anyone else? I guess you curse a lot of guys. Eh, not so many. I cursed an interloper back at the tomb once, but that was 50 years ago. All right, all right. Well, about the old country. I'm just avoiding the inscription. You said something about the tomb of Samun Mac. Oh, how I miss it. The happy pitter-patter of little scarabs. The smiling faces of the sarcophagi. Guarding the tomb has been our family business for many generations. Yeah, comedy comes in threes. I, I just like the terrible, terrible mole man humor. 
just hilarious that both jokes are about cutting the cucumber. All right, why did, why you, did leave? you leave the old country? Oh, tomb guarding business, not what it used to be. Nowadays, no decent tomb raiders to impale. So, family sent me here. I make it big in America, I send for them. All right, all right, okay. We Finally. We get through this gate till we read the inscription. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be so hard, only they went and wrote it in some crazy picture language. Remind me what the symbols are, and I will tell you how the inscription reads. Well, as I recall, there was a foot, a snake, and two squiggles, and a bird. A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird. Mm -hmm. How would you say that in ancient Egyptian? What snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird? Works for me. Gee, hieroglyphics <laughs> are easy. I didn't think this was going to be one of those educational movies. Keep watching. I think she just tells you that again if you ask about it. Can you tell us how to say those hieroglyphics again? A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird? A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird. How would you say that in ancient Egyptian? What snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird? Works for me. Gee! Keep on cursing. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm sure we know the inscription now. It's per face. All right, I'm fairly sure we can't actually do anything else in here. Hey! I'll go back to the theater, but I I believe that's just done with the shield. Mm. The gate of this. Well, oh, dude, phrasing. Can we steal this shtick from Miss Lizzie and her boisterous barmaids? I don't think so. This act doesn't have a chimp. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, Agent and May. All right. I'll we'll try. The gift may kick in on the next attempt. Giant cavernous sphinx nostrils. Huh? Lubricated with the mucus of the gods. Mm -hmm. Place your offering in the divine nostrils. Mm hmm. May the divine odor of chocolate chips prove pleasing to thy nasal cavities. Very good. You have passed the first threshold. Now, recite the words of the inscription. Mm-hmm. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. Mm. Well done, my friends. Now, there's only one barrier between yourselves and ultimate victory. Mm-hmm. You chattering little ice monkey, if those two chuckleheads beat us to the prize... Don't worry about it, boss. Oh, so they got lucky on the password. Luck ain't gonna get them through that gate. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Aim budging. Yeah, we need the cat of worms to get through that gate. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> There you go. We we I am pretty sure there's nothing we can't really do anything with the uh elves currently. And we got the password but we need the can of nuts to get through that grate. So we need to go and pick another reel. Alright. Want to skip ahead to the good part? Mm-hmm. Um... I suppose we could actually get out of real 3 now? Um, because we know the password? Uh, I, I want to go see what real 2 is about first, but yeah, like, we could do this because we know it's feet squiggled squiggle bird, so yeah. Let's have a look at the train to Egypt. Well, little buddy, here we are, bound for adventure on the Disorient Express. Egypt, land of ancient tombs and odd-looking humanoid figures with animal heads. I'm scared, Samoth. What if we don't fit in? We've got to. <laughs> Mr. Paperweight has charged us with an important mission, and we can't let him down. Ooh. I hope it involves asks. I love asks. You oh, love don't we all? Asps. 
Tickets, please. Please get out your tickets. Now remember, don't breathe a word about our mission. We can't let a soul know we're headed to the tomb of Salmon Muck to bring back the uh -oh. toy box. Hello. Cupid dolls and the four-color funny pages smeared with spaghetti. Name's Earhart. Baby Amelia Earhart, the famous lost kid. Perhaps you've seen my milk carton? <laughs> yeah. I have. I have. Mm -hmm. I'm a spirited little tyke. Lit off from the nursery one day and never looked back. I'm out for adventure, and I figure you might be needing a cute little sidekick. I already got what I love. Already got a cute little sidekick. Yeah, we don't need to see it, Samith. Not now. Tickets. <laughs> I'll take those. I don't think so. Doing. Open up and show your tickets. Everyone, be quiet. And invisible. I hope you have a plan. Open this trunk. Open <laughs> this yeah, we, we don't we don't have any uh any kind of uh plan here for se. Yeah, baby Millie Earhart, throwback from season two where we met her. Oh, that's where I don't want to end up. What's going on? Now listen, boys, be reasonable. We you may not realize it just now, but I could make a very valuable addition. She won't shut up, Sam. I know all I know what to do. I'm, I'm great with kids. I've got a book. Mm -hmm. a if you say so. Open up and produce your Who's out here with me? Instant. Santa Claus. Oh, oh, oh. I hate out my kids. That sounds like Santa. Come on, baby Amelia Earhart. Let's use our quiet voice. Did I mention there's a tarantula in the chest? It won't hurt you if you stay perfectly still. As a matter of fact, I have no idea how to quiet a kid. Nope. Uh-oh. Hope I'm not intruding, gents. Not at all. Here to join in a game of gin, Rummy. Let me out! Stowing a board without tickets and transporting contraband kiddies as well? What kind <laughs> of train you think this is? Ouch! Whee! Equipment malfunction? More like a mental equipment malfunction. Should we try another reel? So, yeah, we, we can't actually... I don't think we can actually do anything in that reel yet, but... Yep, they're game over. Okay, let's go to real three, which is, I'm pretty sure this is where we got to go next anyway. But uh, there we go, we get thrown out of the train. And there is indeed a time limit. Yeah, we may or may not Look, need Samuel, that kind of nuts. Inscription. Um, don't you remember your hieroglyphics? Yeah, we do. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. You remember. That's the way it is with foreign languages, little buddy. It's easy to get out of practice, but once you... Yay! <laughs> Run, Salmon Max! Bullets and foiled again! They're getting away! Well, little buddy, here we are, fresh from a successful tomb raiding expedition in Lower Middle Egypt. Back on board the Disorian Express, bound for New York City. All right. Remind me, Samith, how did we manage to undo that security spell and swipe the devil's toy box from the family of guardian moles? Beats the hell out of me. Who can remember? The important thing is, the toy box is safe and sound right here in our... Holy Hercule Paul Row in a blood soaked bathtub with a full set of dental records and a mud caked work boot with two missing treads. Uh -oh. oh no! It must have happened while we were stocking up on ketchup packets in the snack car! Which means the culprit is on this train. <gasps> Wait a minute, we're on the Disorder Express, that means all of them did it. I'm gonna save on the uh, appropriate number for the reel. Alright. So we managed to not get Samoth and Maximus killed this time. Somebody stole the devil's toy box from this steamer trunk. Ooh, Samoth, ooh. Scandalous. We've got to find out. All right. No devil's toy box in there. Nope. Not in here. Ooh, use bed. No toy box under there. Ah, we got all right. We got the cannonuts and sacred ventriloquism. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're probably right. If it was the, the under there. if it was a disorient express, you would expect it to be nobody rather than everybody. Oh, 
Hello. Who are you? Oh, I should pick up that glass, actually. You. You're again. You're the middle European jerk who got Maximus and me stuck on the wall back in the tomb of Samun Mac. Please, this is ancient history. Let go. Move on. Hmm. Hmm. All right, but first. Yeah, quite a few kind of funny recurring characters. Ooh, hello. The elves are on that. Yeah, there we go. Yoink! Pringles room service tray. Hmm, ah, I see. Now we've got many places to go in this one. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> nope, not there. <laughs> Ooh, Snick. Hi, Snick. Look, it's our old pal Spot. Hi, Spot. How's the boy? Whoa, cranky. <laughs> Oh, actually, I think I've got to just like go to that tray. Um, I don't really remember getting stuck in the train. Yeah, he does. Um, I remember getting stuck in the town, and in the t the tomb is where I get stuck. That tomb is definitely a problem. All right, bye, Snake. Let's look in Jurgen's room. Nobody home. <laughs> ah, he has garlic. Okay. Garlic crosses and wolf spade. What do you make of that, little buddy? Jesus pesto? Uh-uh. Me thinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. <sighs> Don't mm -hmm. say me thinks, Sameth. I will say me thinks if I want to. Me thinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. That steamer trunk looks exactly like ours. I thought we were on the cutting edge of steamer trunk chic. It doesn't appear to be locked. Well, though, visitors. How kind of you to drop in on my humble home away from home, yeah? <laughs> so sorry you could not stay for the aperitifs. If you'll excuse me. Hmm, okay. All right, let's talk to the mole man then. Nah. Oh, we're interrupting something. Not at all. <laughs> Just leaving. I won't rest till you give me the, you know what. Goodbye, Jurgen. Whatever. Ah <laughs> <clears throat> uh, hi. Hi there. <sighs> oh boy. Just out of curiosity, what was your dad whispering about with that overripe European? His name is Jurgen. Yeah, I'm not it is. To know what he went from my dad, but well, come on. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Oh, sweet thing. He tried so hard to avoid making eye contact oh, with me. Oh no. Oh no. Seen the devil's toy box lately? What do I care about toy boxes? I've got more important things to think about. Mm hmm. I hope you're not still sore at us for stealing your boyfriend. Huh? Oh, you mean that silly Vancouver ah. liquid dummy? Hmm. Okay. I don't care about him anymore. He was just a childish fancy. I'm totally a woman now. You are not. I've got a new boyfriend now. <laughs> All right, so I guess we steal the ventriloquist dummy from her. Your boyfriend? That wouldn't happen to be. You know how my dad is. He mustn't know about our engagement. <laughs> engagement? You mean? Oh, 
He has an ass <laughs> But I can see it in his eyes. I'm, I'm sure you can, hein? What attracts you to a guy like that anyway? His tragic aura. There's something haunted about him. Like he's laboring under mm. some kind of terrible curse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With his I miss? wonder if he's been vampire cursed and that's why he has all that stuff to stop him from being turned into a vampire. Excited about moving to America, eh? You bet! In the new world, a girl can grow up to be anything she wants to be. A seamstress, a nurse, a kindergarten teacher, even a stenographer. <gasps> a stenographer! Works wow! Hey, Mrs. Wow. I, I love stenographers. I suspect you're hiding stolen goods in here. What goods? The devil's toy box. Therefore, we must invoke our spurious authority and look inside. We're freelance right, police. I think. Manual. You're not allowed to inspect the trunk without just cause. Hmm. Ah, just cause you hey, say. Okay. Remember us? Of course. You're the wise guys who made off with the devil's toy box, the treasure we moles have been guarding for almost six thousand years. Yeah, that's us. You're not mad at us for raiding your tomb? Yeah. Like, no. Losing that toy box was the best thing that ever happened to us mole people. After 6,000 years, we can finally say goodbye to burial chambers and hello to Broadway. Ooh, Broadway! America, I can hardly wait! Ooh, excellent. After all we've been through together in real two, I feel I can speak freely. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. On whom? <gasps> On Jurgen. On that Jurgen guy. Ah, tell me another. All right. What was that fellow with the fruity accent doing in here? Private business. Let's just say he wants something that only I can give him. Oh, mm. Dad. <laughs> you don't have to be so secretive. Oh dear. Oh dear, Hen. Where are you headed? You're going when we reach America. To join my wife Natasha. We sent her ahead to get established. Mm -hmm. I hear she's managed to score us a sweet boiler room on the west side. Oh hell yeah, it's lovely. It's absolutely fabulous. Uh she she's she's a good lady. Oh, funny thing, that toy chest we swiped from you. Somebody swiped it from us. Well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we inspect your trunk? No. <laughs> Ooh, burn. After all we've been through together in real two, I feel I can speak freely. Mm -hmm. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. Oh no. On whom? The dummy. One of my little buddy's ventriloquist dummy. Oh dear. That doesn't sound healthy. Oh well, she'll either outgrow it or become a lonely, twisted old spinster with a toy fixation. Either way, I don't have to worry. I mean, that's, uh... That, that's fair, I, I, I guess. Okay. If you say so, Bunny. I know what we have to do, because remember in Real 2, the uh, inspector got a little bit suspicious about... Uh, <laughs> nice mustache, dude. About a trunk that was speaking. Help! I'm a prisoner in here! Got someone in the trunk, eh? I'm afraid railway regulation number 268 leaves us no choice but to inspect it. You're not mm -hmm. the train conductors. Yeah, we You're are. The untrained conductors. <laughs> oh. Go ahead then. Yep. All right, let's open that steamer trunk. Clothes, blankets, pots and pans, magical bric-a-brac. No toy chest in here. I guess you're cleared. Why would we steal the toy chest back? It was hard enough to get rid of it. And that's fair, but, uh, ooh, what's think this? this is significant? It's selectable, isn't it? <laughs> it's just one of our magic spells. Pay it no mind. Only mole people can do mole magic. And that particular spell is only useful to those who are under the dread vampire curse. Hmm, okay. I guess that's what, uh, what Jurgen's after. All right. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Out we go, okay. I guess we can't really do anything in that parchment. Hmm. Alright. 
Uh, I guess we'll try Jurgens again to make him go through. Yo. Oh, hello. Hi. The mole girl from next door thinks you're all that. She is totally hot for you. Please, as if I am not already cursed enough. And you're, you're fairly cursed. Listen, we know what it is you're looking for and where you can find it. And I should believe you. Why? Because we've got honest faces. Yeah, we do. Please. What's with the garlic crosses and wolf's bane? They are merely for decoration, okay? <laughs> I find them very soothing. If you are implying that I have these things because I'm afraid of being beaten by a vampire because yeah. I'm under a curse or some yeah. such silly nonsense like mm -hmm. that, then I have nothing for you but mocking laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am implying exactly Who that. Who are you really? And what are you doing on this train? I told you, I am but a humble student of the antiquities. Oh yeah? This train isn't an antiquity. It will be someday. All right. You and the mole man next door seem to have some sort of mysterious connection. Mm. If it were up to me, I would have no connection with these mole That's men fair. and their pesky curses. But I am not completely free yet. Ah. Toy box. Hiding a toy box in your compartment, are you? About yay big, 6,000 years old? No. <laughs> All right, buddy. We're watching you, Jurgen. Yeah, we are. Yeah, like I care. All right. So, okay, I'm gonna look in the other other places. The whole other carriage to go. Guess we uh, gave Craig with some cookies. Ah, hello. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Let's throw them out. Let's start unloading. I love how we just chuck those out. Ah, oh, hello. Nope, not there. It is, uh, having the context of season one and two for all these characters uh, is really good. I mean, the game. There's <laughs> some creepy dead guy. Mm hmm. The game plays on its own, but yeah, it's definitely helpful to uh, have played. I'm not leaving till the background stops moving. That's fair. And it's definitely better when you have the context for Jurgen and Santa and the Mole Men. Elves, hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, boss. We was only. It ain't him. Just had too much from New York. Yeah? Fuck you. What are you elves doing on this train? We go where Kringle goes. We're his retinue like. Oh, he <laughs> don't know nothing about our secret project. Retinue like. All right. Ooh, secret project. I'm obviously supposed to ask you about this secret project. I ain't authorized to talk about it. You'll have to talk to the project manager. Hey, Slushy. Hey, Slushy. What's up, dog? Hey, dog. What's this secret project everybody's talking about? It's a new toy. Oh boy, what a toy. This baby will have old man Kringle turn and backflips mm. once we spring it on him. Mm. Uh, just putting the finishing touches on it now. Ah. Give us a sneak peek? Uh -uh. We ain't letting the cat out of the bag, not yet. Gotta get it kid tested first to make absolutely certain we got a winner. So, yeah, this is where the, the really good time shenanigans come in. Like, you are gonna go from real to real. So, we're gonna get the. Probably not now, but at some point we'll get the toy idea from here. And take it back to real one. Kid tested, eh? My little buddy has the brain of a child. Yeah, he does. Keep it in my bedroom closet. Nix, Nix, we gotta test this toy with a real kid. Hmm, all right. Do we have a uh, baby Amelia Earhart anywhere? Wait right there. I've got the perfect kid for you. Yeah, that's fantastic, pal. Send him over. Uh... Yeah, how about point and click adventure games? Where is Amelia? Oh, is she here? Hey, baby Amelia Earhart. I. Oh, hello. She's napping. Yeah. Oh, hello. Music box. Ah! Da, 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 da. <sighs> so you're the type that would barge in on a girl and interrupt her nap time, eh? Mm -hmm. Can't say I'm surprised. What can I do for your fellows? You nap to right of the Valkyries? Who doesn't? Puts me out to like a light. Ooh. Shows you how different people mm -hmm. are. I always fall asleep to the tears of a clown. Poor old Chuckles. 
I think his shackles are too tight. I can't wait forever, buddy. Why am I, baby? You again, eh? Come on in. I was just working on my memoirs. All right, hen. No devil's toy box in there. She's baby Amelia Earhart. She's got to sound like 30. Funny how Right of the Valkyries puts her right out. It would have been nice to know that back when it was useful. Yeah? Say, baby Amelia Earhart. Uh-huh. So, yeah, when we do real 2, we have to not just go invisible, which is the cannon nuts. We also have to get her to shut up. So, uh, yeah, we need to do the Right of the box. Valkyries. That's an unusual kind of lullaby. I'm an unusual kind of kid. Yeah, that's fair. Got your own compartment now, eh? Going legit? I can afford to, thanks to our old friend Sam and Mark. Gold-plated scarabs are fetching a nice price on the commodities market these days. And that's, that's fair. Somebody went and stole our toy box. You mean the toy box you stole from the tomb of Sam and Mark? Where's the decency? <laughs> well, search me, boys. I'm clean. <laughs> Burn! We've got a big surprise for you, baby Amelia Earhart. You have been chosen to participate in a market research project. Uh-huh. What's the catch? No catch. Just go next door with that nice vampire elf. Where he'll give you a brand new toy to play with. Uh... Not interested. Far too busy. What do I look like to you fellows? A child? Well, I mean, a, a, a little bit, I guess. All right. Good girl. Woman. Good woman. That's, uh... Come all on, right. Baby. Okay. Yeah, now we can actually start real too. I don't think we're done here yet. I'll go through the, uh, yeah, fancy graphics. We'll go through the other cart one more time, and then I'll go to real two, which we can now actually start. Because we have the can of nuts to go in, in uh, invisible, and I, we can send a million- Oh, hello! I've got something for you, Jurgen. At last! Give me the- Letter? I bared my soul in it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I am so touched to the core of my being. Oh, no. Let me put it among my keepsakes. Mm-hmm. Hmm, okay. So that happened, hmm. Hope we're interrupting something. Yes? Hi there. <sighs> Hope works out for you, kid. <sighs> that is a sign. Hmm. Ain't nothing in his cupboard, I assume. No devil's toy box in there. Yeah, it's not Max, it's Maximus. I I'm taking oh, off for a oh, while. Oh, here we go. Uh, see ya. Where do you think you're going, little girl? Oh, I thought I'd smoke some drugs and get pregnant. That's all. <laughs> Come with me, Nefertiti. We're not in America yet. Oh, Dad! Now, you be careful out there, you hear? Don't talk to anybody. Whatever. Oh. Uh, I didn't know anyone was out here. Hmm, okay. That's so soon? I changed my mind, okay? Alright, so yeah, we gotta use the can of nuts to, uh... Nope, Maximus. It's Samus and Maximus. Alright, let's see if we leave. And then we get in the can of nuts. There we go. Where do you think you... Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, it's just you. Yes. Just me. All alone. <laughs> oh dear. Me. You want me? <laughs> oh dear, Han. Oh There's dear. There's only one thing I want. You know what that is? Um, 
Yeah, um. Poor little dear. She's completely tongue tied. Um, Ooh, all right. Maybe we could put the words in well, her mouth. Uh, I have a thanks. Thanks for uh, yeah, solving that puzzle for me. Um. Um. Uh. The vampire reverse curse? Tell me, where can I find it? Uh. Um. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say well, where it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I actually want to tell him where it is. I think I want to like. I want to get rid of him. Let's tell him it's the. Uh, yeah. There we go. I need to get rid of him. Yeah. I am so happy I could kiss you. But I won't. Huh? You're again? Ah, poor, poor girl. Now oh, there we go. Two pages worth. Hmm. Oh, Jurgen. He's the innocent student of antiquities. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got to lure him to the vampire elf, but uh, yeah. So I saved. Okay, there we go. He's there at the sarcophagus. I think we can now go in his room, I think. I, d I still don't think we're allowed to get in the steamer trunk, although I will try. Nobody home. No, we know that. We lured him out. Oh, hello. Hmm. Some sort of letter. My dearest Jorgen, what is this itch that spreads across Ew. my dewy young mole skin whenever you are near? I don't know if I should read this. Read it. Read it. <laughs> whenever you are near. It is love, and only your long, pale fingers can scratch it. <laughs> Do you itch for me as well? No need to answer. I can see the agony in your eyes when we're together. Yeah, but I must beg you to keep our love a secret for now. My ogre of a father would have a fit. He doesn't realize I'm no longer his little girl. And my grandfather has this crazy, irrational hatred for people from Stuttgart. Interesting. Be patient, my prince. There's a place for us. A place where moles and Germans can block lips for eternity. I think I know what that place is called. Your love kitten, Nefertiti. Ah, now we're getting to the good part. Mm. Yeah. But is it a romance or horror? There's a difference? Uh, <laughs> Ew, all these specific. Yeah, I think if we, we're just going to get kicked out again. Oh, yeah. Good look inside this trunk. Not so mm -hmm. fast, yep. mm -hmm. Liebchen. If only we could keep him out of that room. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, so now he's going to the sarcophagus. Which is good, because that's near where the elf is. Although I don't think we can vampire him yet. Although, we do have now proof that certain someone's daughter uh, has, has a crush. As a responsible adult... Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> As a responsible adult, I feel it's my duty to give you this. Hey! Huh? My dearest Jurgen, dewy young moleskin, long pale fingers, never titty! Dad! <gasps> we're in love! Sure. You are not! <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Debaucher, cradle robber, despoiler of innocence! Hmm, perhaps this is a bad time. I curse you! No! Whatever. <laughs> you... You ruined my life! Again! We just keep doing that. <laughs> you're my fish! No! <laughs> The whole scene hex. <laughs> oh boy, alright. Uh, Max, Max 
Max is now a cow. <laughs> oh dear. Keep working at it. Aww. Oh, hey, remember us? Of course. So, I hear you throw a mean curse. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. I only use the curse on fellows she has a crush on. And, well, I don't mean to be cruel, but you're hardly her type. That's, uh, that's fair. After all we've been through together in real, too, I can <laughs> speak freely. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. On whom? <gasps> on us, yeah! Us? Still? Well, then I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to hit you again with the old sex over Again? Sex what? Mm -hmm. Until the curse wears off, the very sound of your voice will repulse the opposite sex. I feel like I accidentally missed a step there. Weird. All right, but we're now uh, we're now repulsing the opposite sex, which is um. Keep riding the rails, Mr. Moment. Joe Sardi, okay. thank you, thank you for the sub. Curses for everybody. Yeah, curses for everybody. And I know what we have to do with this. Alright, let's move. Now we can't repulse you again. It's a pretty good curse. Yeah. Uh oh it might be. Hang on. Oh yeah, totally. Hang on. Whoops! Yeah, my bad. The alert box is below the game in OBS, so none of them came up. It played but didn't show. My bad. That's a sec. I'll do both of these. Let me talk to Slushy. Woo. Wait right there. I love this I've got episode. the perfect kid for you. Yeah. And that one. That's fantastic, pal. There we over. go. Uh, her over, and we uh, have something that repulses the opposite sex. So, uh, let's see if this works. Okay, boys, cut to the punchline. It's playtime. Curses for everybody. Ha, I did! Woo! Give us your toy idea! You really liked it then? Liked it? I adored it! Haven't had that much fun in ages! Made me feel like a 16 month old again! Hot dog, that's just what we was hoping to hear! Thanks, kid! Revelatory, positively revelatory! I dare say that toy has changed the course of my entire life! I, she it's sounds like she had fun. Plane. Oh, all right. Well, she seems like she had fun at least. Okay. Um. Hmm. Anything else we can do in this reel? Just clicked out the window. Uh. We need to get Jurgen bit by the vampire. I'm not entirely sure if we can do that now. Um. Oh wait, no, we totally can. Hang on. Um, yeah, it was a plane. But now we know, so we can go to real one. We have to do real two. All right. Yeah. So Jurgen is there, and Chris. Pringle wants Pringle, to see you. Yeah. yeah. Wonder what he oh. wants. Wrong elf. Whoops. <laughs> what does he want? Ha! <laughs> He said he never sent for me. Uh, what are you trying to pull? Wrong elf. I want the vampire elf. Yeah? Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Let me talk to Slushy. What's up, dog? Kringle wants you, buddy. Um, you okay, Slushy? You're looking kind of pale, dude. Yeah, so they tell me. I guess I got bit by something or other. No pain, though. Matter of fact, I never felt better. Yeah, yeah, he's a vampire. Seriously, 
I hate to break it to you, but I think you're a vampire. Ha, ah, Guan, you don't buy that hooey any more than I do. I could go for a nice blood sausage, though. So yeah, Miss uh, Miss Mole, <laughs> Miss uh, Miss Molan's curse works pretty well. The vampire elf. Soon to be a beloved holiday special. Mm -hmm. We're kidding around. All right. Okay. Are now I can get him oh, great, to go to I your see him. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face when I tell him all about our new toy bike lane. Ah, don't bite me! Don't bite me! There we go. Well, what did he think? Uh, who? Crinkle about the toy. <laughs> oh right. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I, I never made it to his compartment. I got caught up in some uh, some personal business along the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. As I say, the uh, the train isn't too bad. There's some things here, like realizing you have to use that curse to make Amelia fly to the vampire animal. Hello! Yes. Yes. We lied. Um, you're looking a little peaked. I know! I have become a vampire! Oh, no, no. A horrible creature of the night, feared and loathed by all! Ah, oh, cheer up, Jurgen. You were loathed by all before you became a vampire. Hmm. If you're still looking for the Vampire Reverse Curse, you won't find it here. No, it's too late for that. I was just thinking how this sarcophagus would make <laughs> a bed if I could find another place to stash the moldering corpse. Hmm. Nice. Look on the bright side. Surely the mole girl will leave you alone. Now you're a vampire. No. You clearly know nothing about the teenage girls. She thinks I am even more tragically sexy than before. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> break. Mm-hmm. All right, Stay so we can now. Girls, your concern is so touching. We can totally now uh, look in his treasure chest. An eventual goth club owner, the horror, indeed. I mean, what else are you gonna do when you become a vampire a hundred years ago? Nobody home. Look at all this stuff that's gonna that's gonna prevent him from stopping me. Yes, mm -hmm. let's shout. Oh no, you don't! Oh, garlic crosses. My own protective talismans are keeping me away. Oh, the bitter irony of it all! Curses! Curses yeah. indeed! Mm -hmm. Stop! Get your filthy hands off that toy box! It's not for the likes of you. It's empty. What? The trunk is empty. <laughs> I have failed you, Yogg-Sagoth, but you will be avenged! Alright, buddy. For a vampire, he's a weird Yeah, he's a little bit weird. Alright, so... Hmm. Cookie crumbs! Ooh! Cookie crumbs? Well, we know who eats cookies! Goddamn Chris Kringle. Alright. Oh, sorry, Nick. Don't old Saint Nick. Alright. Let's go confront Santa! Christmas Eve! Sounds like Kringle! What do you want? I'm busy in here! It's the police! Open up! This is the police! The trained police? No, yep. no, the untrained police! <laughs> go away! Oh, burn. Okay, got to be room service, which is fine. Let me save. Mm hmm. Oh, right, yeah, there was also the elves, which uh, I never looked in. Let's look at the elves. <laughs> like, I was saying, it's like, it could be in the elves. I know it isn't. I know it's in Santa, but we can look in the elves compartment now. Yeah. He's weird. He's bait off Jolly Yeah, he's bait off yeah. old Saint Nick. Now that your secret's out, you won't mind if we snoop through your steamer trunks? Ah, come on, we got nothing to hide. Yeah, I figured that was the case. But we'll have a look. Yeah, look in the point five steamer trunks, but no chest. A lot of chest nuts though. Mm-hmm. How many elves you got in there? At last count, 153.5. Ooh. Point five? 
Gary, the third level paladin, is only half elf. Ah, that's that's fair. Stay sprightly. That's half elves, you know. You gotta be careful. Oh yeah, becoming a vampire totally makes you insta goth. It's just the territory. It's part of that curse. All right. Um. Yeah, Gary the paladin is only a half elf. Who is it now? Room service. Room service. For the love of Blitzen, it's about damn time. Yeah, hold on a minute. Oh shit, uh, can of nuts. Cookies and nuts, but where's the milk? Mm. Okay. I distinctly ordered milk <laughs> and cookies, you brainless boobies. How the hell am I supposed to eat cookies without milk? I mean, that's totally fair. All right. Uh, well, we have an empty glass. Ah. Uh... Oh, right. Hmm. Ah, I see where the game's going with this. All right. All right, game. All right. I think we can actually beat this reel. I didn't actually realize you could beat this reel first time. Because for some reason we can get a mole curse on us. Maybe it has something to do with real too. Uh, yeah, time to piss oh, her God. off. Hello. Like this any better than you do, little buddy. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Max is gonna be extremely it's unhappy with you. Keep working at it. Yeah, we milked Max. Yeah, we milked him good. Hmm. Yeah, the curse is all right. We have alliteration. We uh, we're we're gonna pretend that's milk. Eh, well, yeah, I mean, he did get turned into a cow rather than a bull, you know? Okay, we put the cookies down, and we put like the milk. milk down. Tell him it's room what service. It room service. For the love of Blitzen, it's about damn time. Yeah, hold on a minute. Alright, and then we hide as a can of nuts. I do like a lot of the uh, puzzles on this Cookies. train are pretty good. And it's the puzzles elsewhere that suck. threw in a free can of nuts to make up for the inconvenience. I sure did. You're bad for me, you naughty little snacks. <laughs> but you go down so good. What the holly berries? He's out cold. Nice. Look at that steamer drunk. All right. It's empty. Ah. Oh. You mean I gave up my no. precious milk for nothing? Wait a minute. There's a note. Uh oh. What of young Sagoth? Who could have written this? Who indeed? Oh, yeah. I, oh, no. Oh, I would. I've been double crossed. Yeah, a little bit. I'll damn you out! <laughs> well, that's the lot of them, little buddy. We've cleared every name on the list. Except one. Huh? I must admit you had me fooled, Sameth. Always so concerned about the missing toy box and the way you were always slipping off for a smoke break. I never slipped off for Grand Central Station. Now arriving at Grand Central Station, New York, New York. What's that? Baby, baby Amelia, Amelia Earhart? Earhart? Yes, Baby Amelia Earhart. Little Baby Amelia Earhart, not worth bothering with, not good enough to play with the big boys. Oh no, she's just a woman. Well, it appears this insignificant female has been quite a few of the big boys at their own game, and now she's going home with all the toys, while the others are left scratching their heads, wondering what hit them. Grand Central Station! Any last words before we part? Yeah? Uh... It's nice to share. 
Whee! Kind of anticlimactic for a boss fight. Yeah. I thought it was exciting. Let's take this toy box and skedaddle, little pal. We've got an appointment with Monsieur Paperweight. I'm sure that won't go badly. All right, hey, we beat the real three. Fun. How come you never take me on transoceanic train trips, Sam? The Zeppelin industry has rendered that mode of transportation obsolete, little buddy. All right, so yeah, it's crossed out now because we did it. Did it. All right, so we can do both of these. Um, we can look at this one, but we can't do anything in it yet. But uh, let, let's have a look at the big reward. We finished this one, right? Yeah, let's look at the big reward. I mean, we sure and do have here it coming. Are, ladies and gentlemen, fresh from the triumphant tour of Lower Middle Egypt, the scourge of the mole people, treasure finders extraordinaire. Please welcome Samoth and Maximus. Mm -hmm. Hi, folks. We didn't mean to interrupt the show. Here's that toy box you wanted. Um, we'll be on our way. Just as soon as you cop up our prize. Of course, of course. But before I hand out the big reward, perhaps I can coax our intrepid adventurers into telling us a bit about their grand adventure? Mm -hmm. Much to it, really. We came, we saw, we conquered. Hand over the loot! <laughs> so modest. No, I'm afraid my audience wants all the gory details. They sure Don't do. you, friends? <laughs> so tell me, Samoth and Maximus, to begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? <laughs> we just taste that good. <coughs> Strange, I have no memory of how we did that. Mm -hmm. They're dying up there. I don't think we're ready for this part yet. Yep. Let's go back to an earlier reel. So yeah, we need to know how we, we need to complete all three of these before we can actually do anything here because he asks you like what you did for each one so we'll look at two since we can now send Amelia Earhart to sleep and this is the reel that I get stuck on so we might as well uh keeping your mouth shut keeping your mouth shut keeping your mouth shut don't say a word <laughs> open up I say we gotta hide so yeah, it, uh, it, set, it doesn't show you the start of the uh, reel again, it sets you back here, and we can now be in a kind of nuts, in. and Amelia's asleep. Huh, could have swore there was somebody gabbing in here. Huh, nobody here. Reckon I were wrong. You were wrong, pal. s and Ha! That was a close call. Lucky for us, we played that tour in Gutter Demeron. We sure put one over on that sap of a conductor, didn't we, partners? Sure, Hen. For the last time, kid, you're not joining our outfit. Nonsense. This is just the beginning. We've got an endless series of marvelous adventures ahead of us. We sure do. <laughs> mhm. Mm mm -hmm. All right. Fair. You'll nope. find it's not so easy to impress these Egyptian types with your magic act, little buddy. Mm -hmm. These jokers ingest sorcery with their mother's milk. Speaking of which, it looks like we finally managed to lose that pesky baby Amelia Earhart. By George, you're right. That was a clever move, pointing her at that mirage and telling her it was an oasis. <laughs> little kids are so trusting. Now, let's get down to the business at hand. We've got to find the Devil's Toy Box before it's scooped up by some disreputable Tomb Raiders. More disreputable mm. than us, you mean? Hell yeah. Look for a hidden passageway leading to an endless labyrinth. Did not like no that. We'll encounter a dizzying array of fiendish death traps, but if we keep our wits about Found us... It. About time. Nice. Alright, so yeah, this is the part of the game that I... Like, this episode that I just get... Completely and utterly stuck in. Um, I can't remember where I got stuck in it, but I know I do, so. Uh, let's find out. Whee! Whee! Alright. Let's get murdered. Stop quaking with girlish timidity, Maximus. It isn't that. It's my psychic aura. It's acting up again, Samoth. Something within that toy box is calling mm. out to me. Mm. Oh. Samoth! It's a 
ventriloquist dummy! Yeah, it is. Little buddy, it could be a fake. <laughs> well, well, what have we here? Tomb Raiders? Oh my. We haven't had a good raiding in nigh under 50 years. Mm -hmm. Now just sit tight for a minute. We're afraid you caught us with our trousers down. <laughs> so to speak. Uh, haven't bothered to reset the security system in, oh, I don't know how long. Uh, now then, protection spell looks to be in order. Hmm? to do the trick. Well, don't worry, G-Volt. Good old-fashioned protection spell. <laughs> You're here for the part I get stuck now, on. don't touch that toy box if you value your height. Oh, well, you know what? I'm immediately going to touch that toy box, right? I mean, I may save the game, but we're immediately going to touch that toy box. Do you think it's safe to touch it now? Yep. Ah, fudge. I was hoping these two would put up some kind of challenge. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, boo! Let me just die. This is a, a point-click adventure game, right? You gotta let me die. There goes oh. my aura again! I must have that dummy! <gasps> Spot! What's you that? fucker! Yes, little buddy, it looks like you got your asp. And it's a big asp, too. It's such a big asp. Ooh. Yeah, Sam is fairly immoral. All right. Uh. I guess there's no going over there. That is one big ass snake, indeed. Okay, so we can go over here. Uh, can't do anything with that door. Ooh, sconce. There we go. There's also this one up here. Psst! Whoa! Over here! What? You are mounting the devil's toy box, yeah? I can help you, but you must help me first. No. How do European gent like yourself wind up on a two-dimensional surface like this? Are you not the small students of the antiquities? Sure. I came to Egypt in order to make sketches of the tomb decorations. Little did I expect I would become a tomb decoration myself. Mm-hmm. Oh no, you can't put doorknobs in a tomb. You've got to put snake sconces. Who? Who did this to you? The moles. They are completely verrucked. Especially the old one. At first he played the kindly grandfather, but then without warning he turned on me like the vicious wild beast and cursed me with bad luck. I tried to flee, but the way out was blocked by a nasty mole woman with a cheesy accent. She threw another curse at me. In my confusion, I blundered into a tripwire and poof! Curse number three! Only here Wow, triple cursed. Alright. That's, uh, that's bad. Bad accent? No, I <laughs> yeah. have been confined on this accursed wall for decades. You must free me. Bitter? No, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave you there. You're you gonna break the spell of protection over the toy box? Naturally. During my long confinement here, I have had much opportunity to study the mole magic. Then why can't you undo your own curse? Alas, I have the limited mobility up here. You undo my spell, I'll help undo yours. All right, all right, asshole. Give us a specific. What do we need to do to get you down from there? Do you see the bust of Salmon Mark? There's a secret clasp underneath it. Mm. Release the clasp, and I am released from the wall. Your grateful servant. Sure, sure. All right. How do we get to the bust? That is the good question. Ah, fair. Mm-hmm. That's a very good question. I'm good at that. Uh, that's fair too. All right, sconce. Hmm. Okay. 
Aha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to free him more than we have time power looks, that's, that's true. Mm, it's okay. a cozy niche. Totally gonna get cursed. I'm free! I'm free! Oh, glorious third dimension! Oh, blessed relief! <laughs> I'm free! And you're not. So sorry. Got to run! Fucker! Wait, you said you'd help us land the devil's toy box! Do not be silly. What would a couple of bar reliefs want with a toy box? Just. What a shit! Yeah, let's let's get uh good boy and rabbit. Alright, what we got? <laughs> I don't what think that worked. There? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. There are worse ways to spend eternity. Hey, at least we're not in retail. Infidels! Oh, hello! Vipers, ah. You have removed the sacred bust of Samun Mark. Sorry! For your sins, you must remain on this wall. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for how long? For eternity! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Samus, and this is Maximus. <laughs> I don't get it. Yes, yeah, Skunk Ape Boy. So yes, Samus and Maximus. We are Sam and Max, uh... Great grandfathers of the freelance police. All right. Uh, let's okay, see. for reals, there's got to be some way around this stuck on the wall for eternity. Who, huh? Well. Shh. Yeah. Come on. Well, we have to let you off if you can answer the riddle of this fox, which oh, no okay. one ever has. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's what's the riddle? Let's hear the riddle. Let's hear it. <laughs> All right. You who raid the pharaoh's tomb. Much deserving of your doom. If you want to save your hide, tell us what the gods deride. Hmm. What the gods deride? Hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh, we know! <laughs> yes! Woo! It's also chick flicks for sure, but. We know what this is! It's good. We're gonna see chick flicks, though. Not even close. Short people. Short people? Guess again. People who think everything's about them? Meaning me, I suppose. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, we know. We know what it is. To cut the cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a good one! <laughs> Never gets old, does it? Mm-hmm. And we've still got the bust of Salmon Mac. Hmm, do we now? Okay, we need to split that in half. Because we need to we need to put it on the wall. Oh no, okay, when we put it in a wall, we uh make a path, but I'm pretty sure we do need to split it in half so we have both, so we have a path over. Vaguely remember that. So if I put it in the uh Nice graphics are pretty good. Yeah, so you can see we can make a path for wall us over if we have uh this bust in half. Okay, alright. Hi nice, Scorpion. What is in this door? Two doorways. Oh, oh ah! Two doorways. I just said that. The doorway of life and the doorway of death. Choose a right, and you will pass through to the chamber of delight, wherein our greatest treasure resides. Choose a wrong, a wrong, and a mighty scimitar will strike from above and slice you cleanly in half. <laughs> Proceed, if you dare. Well, I think we know what we have to do with that scimitar. But, uh, let's just see. It all seems like fairly aggressively, but, uh, yeah, that ain't a word, Harry. Okay, um. Uh... Show 
shoot, shoot, shoot. Grr. You were supposed to go through the other door. The other door is the one with the scimitar. Mm -hmm. You won't be so lucky next time. I'm going to recalibrate the mechanism. You'll have to pass this point again on your way out, and then watch out. That's all. You're not allowed to look. I guess it's only fair to give him a second chance. I, if you say so, bunny. Ooh. Animals. Summon Mark discovers the Devil's Toy Box. The moment that changed the course of history. That's fair. Young Salmon Mock started life as a humble frog catcher, but fate intervened. Ooh, I love fate. Oh. Hold it right Whoa. there! Okay, we, we accidentally went Can't into her. Can you read hieroglyphics? No. It's a turn and a leaf. Exactly. Turn and leaf. The two <laughs> of us want to be alone. We happen to be sharing a super intimate moment. More key, lover boy. Lover boy? It's the dummy! His name is Charlie Hotep. That's now, fair. Are you gonna keep away or do I have to shit spot on you? What? Listen, kid, I know your feelings for Charlie Hotep are very, well, dysfunctional. But yeah. I'm going to have mm -hmm. to insist you turn him over to my pal here. Charlie and me are soulmates. Right. As if. Sure. Charlie and I have a perfect understanding. Mm -hmm. Just try and come between us, and I'll put a curse on you that'll curl your toes. Literally or figuratively? We can't just leave. We went through so much to get here. The doorways of life and death, you mean? Right. Dad built that. It's like the post to discourage shooters. As if I need him always watching over me. God, so embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Treasure? Your father said something about finding his greatest treasure in here. Yeah. Oh, this is totally a boudoir. Know. But don't start getting any ideas. I've already found my dream boy. I'm truly happy you for say all so. of us. Mm -hmm. So what happens if we decide to just saunter right in? Do you want me to set my ass on you? No, Not really. No. Oh, please, God, anything but that. Sure. Ooh, mole curses. Let's What's learn about them. curse, little girl? The whole scene hex. But I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Stay sullen, kid. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Mm, shut up. That's it. You violated my inner sanctum. I sure <laughs> did. Go get him, Spot. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. A can of nuts for our tea party? You're the best little snake in the whole world. Uh-huh. Well, Charlie, you finally got me alone. Now's your chance to murmur those three little words. <laughs> We're out of here. Huh? You, you, see how you like Nefertiti's curse. <laughs> Wait a minute, how does it go? Oh, yeah. Maximus. Uh, all right, buddy. <coughs> all right, buddy. Say something, little buddy. Move. Whew, <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, kid. I'm sure you'll improve. Oh, I hate you. You ruined my whole life. I sure did. I sure ruined your whole life. Are you gonna give Charlie back? Or no. do you want another taste of Nefertiti's Holstein hats? Uh. Hmm. Tough choice. Time's up. 
You lose, cowboys. How did you know? Yeah, Maximus doesn't have toes to curl. That's true. It's not really toe curling. Maximus. Uh, I'm sure we have to do something with him as a cow. I I, I don't know what though. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. We're in July. All right. Hi, Mole Man. Say, buddy. Yes. Is that the scimitar there, over the? Don't look! Don't look! The doors of life and death are supposed to be a surprise. All right. Mm-hmm. Any other curses we should be aware of? Pop's got a good one. The bad luck whammy. But we're we supposed never to ask him about to his you. curse. That didn't really go, though, right? Weird. Your daughter keeps threatening to curse us. Well, she needs the practice. <laughs> I'm sure you fellows don't want to experience the Holstein hex. It's oh, utterly burn. devastating. Burn. Hey, Bunny, you know anything about an elderly mole man with specs? Sure, that's my pop. He guards the burial chamber. Hmm, all right. We ran into this mole person back in New yeah, York. Yeah, boom! Obsessed with a can of nuts? We do, we, we do already know his ex, but I'm sure we're supposed to, like... What was she up to? We told the year, because he's like, what other curses? Still doing what she loves most. It's a bit weird. I think you are supposed to, like, ask him about the curse, but maybe I skipped that because I already did this stuff in Real 3. Will you please tell your daughter to stop making indecent proposals to us? <laughs> My daughter? You? It's flattering, of course, but a clear violation of workplace guidelines on sexual harassment. Stop saying that! You're like the grossest guys I've had the unfortunate displeasure to meet, ever! Indulging in a bit of wishful thinking, eh, fellas? Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Can you convince the old guy to take down his protection spell and let us have the Devil's Toy Box? No. The Devil's Toy Box? The treasure we moles have been guarding for 6,000 yep. years? Mm -hmm. yeah. That one. No. Ah, eh, why not? Answer me something, Pops. Why is it the moles back in New York speak in this funny dialect and you talk just the same way we do? I I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm completely thrown by your accent. <laughs> All right. That'll be weird. All right. Love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Piff. All right. Whee! Now who wants to get murdered by a blade? See if I can, uh... If I have to do it from the other side? Yeah. Wee! Hey, no littering in the tomb. <laughs> Wonder if it was just the wrong door. Hmm. Hey, no <laughs> littering. Is it always the left hand door? Say, buddy. Yes? Love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Oh. Hmm, okay. Uh... You and I are going to make beautiful music together. We sure now, are. Let's see. I can't hold it inside any longer. I love you, Samoth and Maximus. I want to be your mole. I want to oh, be your uh, place. Uh, there, I've said it. Gross. Never titty. I didn't. If I hadn't just heard it with my own ears, <laughs> I'd have never believed it. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't! I've got no choice but to blast you fellows with the sexo rejexo hex! Brace mm -hmm. yourselves! Yeah, alright. 
Until the curse wears off, the very sound of your voice will repulse the opposite sex. That sounds fair. Sounds fair Whee! enough. Hi there. Woof. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Even though we can reject her, we like can't go past, I guess. Hmm, alright. Can we ever get sliced up by this thing again? Oh. Nope, nice talking to Max. You wanna talk to Max? Yeah, this is what I said again. Uh, I guess we could just go through a door? I know this is how you slice the object in half. Um, I guess it's just not doing that right now? Weird. Okay. I should do the other stuff. There's some other stuff to do. I, I did toss it through the left hand door. I like I like tossed it through both doors. I'll do it again, but yeah. I definitely tossed it through both doors. Hey! No littering in the tomb! Mm, Alright. Well, I could try to toss it through both at the same time, but I don't think it would work. Whee! Down the fallen statue. Alright, so we haven't been to this side of the room before. <laughs> Actually, a bunch of places we haven't been yet, so... What is up here? Yeah, sure we're gonna just... Oh. Oh, I guess it's just another way to get there. Alright. Alright, game, you got me. There's this door I open and I need to go through though. Let's go up here. Yeah, I definitely got stuck in this tomb and I am slowly remembering why. Ah! Pff. Okay, there's just like there's just like a billion ways to get to every place. Alright. Oh, hello. Come on, cutie. Come to Grandpa. Why, you sly old rascal. Whoa, stay back, fellas. I'm talking to her. Hello, boys. Bouncing boomerangs at a barbecue. She's back. Never underestimate an independent woman. No, oh, gee. <laughs> Ain't she a caution? Just like my granddaughter used to be not so long ago. Oh, Max yeah. is totally yeah. supposed to have a Come hat. On. Come to Grandpa. Grandpa's got a toy. <laughs> I like toys. You keep your distance. No tomb readers allowed in the burial chamber. All right. Whee! Curse me, why don't you? Yes, hey, I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the way the stand is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. Whoa, we got murder. Are they going a ride? Ah. Uh. Oh, so now you want to be friends, do you? Well, buzz off, boys. I'm busy. All right. Hey, Gramps, who's in the sarcophagus? Let's see if you can guess. You're in the tomb of Sam and Mac. Wait, wait, don't help us. A tune coming. The graveyard of the moles. Wee! Tourist brochures, eh? Planning a little mm -hmm. vacation? Yep. Benny and the kid think I could do with a little airing out. Been in this tomb so long, I'm starting to grow mold. <laughs> you sure are, <laughs> buddy. There's just so many darn places to visit. Say, where are you boys from? Uh, that's got to be time and or space for sure. Time and space. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. 
picked a vacation spot yet? No, Don, and I just can't decide. Where'd you boys say you were from again? Stuttgart is another reference? That's where Jurgen's from? You wouldn't have heard of it. A little town called Stuttgart. Stuttgart? You mean to tell me I've been standing here talking to a couple of dang nab dead blasted Stuttgartarians? I What's guess your language, so. Gramps? No cursing in the burial chamber. Ooh, oh, oh. You ain't experienced cursing till you got a snoot full of my extra spicy bad luck whammy. Okay, so we can get cursed. Call it. Heads or tails? Tails. No heads. Hell, no tails. You lose. So we've got repel and bad luck, Wanna I guess. Want to go on a ride? Nah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whee! Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. he, gets, he gets people from Stuttgart, like Jürgen told us on the train. Look, Sammy! Hieroglyphic blocks! The time-honored method of introducing children to the joy of cultic incantations. I use this on Bowman, the sarcophagus. Air I heart. have awakened from the sleep of a thousand years. Eh? Oh, mm, 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 that's nice. <laughs> Sam and Max are my best friends. We whip them into the burial chamber. What? No, they aren't. Don't. <laughs> ah, I eat little children for breakfast. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. Sure did, buddy. All right. Nothing. Help fall. Hi, hi, Spike. Fall. I should have seen coming. Still on Sam. Hey, buddy. For my first trick, I'll need to procure a small personal item from a member of the audience. Quit it, Maximus. We have a lot of curse stank, yeah. Do you want this? No, sir. I don't let nothing distract me. Not while I'm on the clock. <laughs> Look at that little rascal, ain't he? All right, buddy. All right. Yeah, you, you continue being a creep, buddy. All right. Uh, gosh darn. Okay. Let's see if I can split the statue in half. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, Max's psychic view adds uh, objects to the screen. And yeah, this is exactly uh, pretty much where I get stuck in this episode every single time I play it, even though this is now the third time I've played this game. You would think I would remember this puzzle that I always get stuck on, but uh, alas. Two doorways. Oh, oh. The doorway oh okay. Of life, passageway to paradise. The doorway of death. A swinging blade to slice you cleanly in half. But which is which? <laughs> okay, so maybe which it doesn't. It doesn't do it unless I reset Isn't he gonna it. Tell us? Max is gonna go do it. All right, maybe this is what I have to do to get it. I have to actually leave and reset it. Okay. Can I now fling that through the door? Don't throw things to there the There we go. Do you want to dull the blades? There we go. That's it. That's the good shit. Right there. Yeah, I, I had the right idea. I just had to actually, like, reset it by, uh, leaving. Alright, now we can put the two busts in here. I still have to get past Grandpa, and I still don't know how I do it, but... Um, uh, no, 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 it's, uh, this one goes in. Oh, I also need the bad luck curse to make sure I, uh, like, get, go through the right one. Oh, that makes sense, but yeah, I totally had to reset it. 
Now, this is what we need to do with the- we took the bust from that center platform. Uh, what we need to do <laughs> is get cursed and then we can- I don't know if we can actually, like, f do the protection spell yet, but... This is how we get over to it. And let's slowly shuffle over. Hey, we're the meat-based version of us again. Now, to scramble this security spell. Great. They're welded in place. Oh, I see. We have to... That's what we have to do. We have to get the, the hieroglyph blocks and put them in here and mess up the spell. That's it. All right. All right. Ah, hello. That's convenient. All right. So, yeah, I have to get past Grandpa and this is absolutely the puzzle where I just get stuck because I... I... I really don't know what I have to do. Oh. You keep Whoa, your hello. distance. No tomb raiders allowed in the burial chamber. You say so, buddy. Like, can I use this? Nope. I'm just a can. Um, okay, I got Blood Luck Curse. I haven't actually played, um, like, any Telltale games other than the Sam and Max and the uh, Monkey Island ones. Um, yeah, what can I do? Uh, do you want, do you want some cookies? I don't give cookies to just anyone. Does he want some cookies? I don't give cookies to just anyone. Um, there's nothing else I can ventriloquize. Um, sarcophagus. The music also goes wonky. Um, Ventriloquism, the... I like the Monkey Island Telltale games uh, quite a bit. They're, they're fine. They're good. I enjoyed them. Say hi to right. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's... Yeah, fuck yeah, that's what you did. Ain't you a lively little wiggler? I'm afraid I must be going. Wait! Grandpa's got a story for you. Right, that's how I solved that puzzle. In a far-off kingdom, there was a family of... Adorable bunny rabbit. So I, I think now we can we go in now. It's a clever use of the curses, yeah, uh, and ventriloquism. But like, it's honestly like I got stuck there for so long. I just couldn't. Especially with the psychic powers, I am now primed to just use these psychic powers and everything, but one of the first couple of times I was playing through this game, you just don't. Um, so... Can I, can I step in now? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright, let's grab these. <laughs> Little scamp got away. Come on back out, baby! Grandpa's got a lot more stories for ya! Oops. Mm, let you slip in, did I? Well, <laughs> I guess you can stay. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can stay. Hello. Say, Gramps. Eh? Oh, it's you. You me. past my death trap, did you, you rascals? Well, you beat me fair and square. I did, I did, did rather. For you? Yeah, it is like rub everything against everything else is, is basically, yeah, uh, it's, it's this whole chapter, to Say, be honest. Gramps. You know that spell of protection you put on the devil's toy box? 
We just cracked it. Yep, we nabbed the treasure and we're on our way. Just stopped in to say goodbye. Nice try, you fellas. That security spell is pretty near foolproof, I reckon. I cast it many times. I mean, I'm, I'm getting through this a lot faster than I did because I, I have vague memories of a lot of this stuff. Um, and I know t the psychic toys are used everywhere. Use them on everything and anyone. I understand you mole people have a talent for throwing curses. Yep, here we go. Curses, curses, that's all anybody remembers about that's us true. old people. Mm -hmm. We're good at dancing too, but nobody ever wants to hear about that. That's because you're not good at dancing. Give me out first, Sonny. What was it you wanted to know? You're really bad at dancing. Uh, Your son Benny just put the sexo rejexo hex on us. Mm -hmm. Oh, did he now? <laughs> You must have caught the eye of young Nefertiti, am I right? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're partial to long-distance love affairs, because that's all you're getting. <laughs> For a while, anyway. All right, buddy. About enough about curses. Is there something else you want to know? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, no, I, I guess understand this is you old people have a talent for throwing. Mm -hmm, mm-hmm. Not for You were only kidding about being from Stuttgart. Ah. Yeah, we hate those Stuttgartarians as much as you do. Okay. Oh, well then, I take the curse back. Okay, so we get we get rid hey, look, of the curse. A four leaf clover. All right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I wonder if we can get rid of the uh, knockback curse the same way. Well, yeah, we, we can finish this reel right now. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get rid of this curse, but yeah, we, we've done it all now. We got the door to get up there, and we just have to place the blocks in it. And then we can get it. Yeah, we met you again, and he's kind of a dick. And then all we have to do is reel one, because we did them backwards. Two doorways. Yep. The doorway of life, passageway to paradise. Mm -hmm, the doorway mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. which? Which shall it be? Red or yellow? Wait, sorry, wrong game. Hmm. Our bus must have busted the mechanism. Ah. Uh. Right, can you uncurse us? Yes. Puppy love, cute, isn't it? <laughs> I wish she wouldn't get her lip liner all over my fur. Oh, barf! Looks like you need a booster shot of my <laughs> so X. So we just get recasting this over and over again. All right. That's fair. Love to stay in chat, but we got a tune yeah, to Yeah, I got busted. I sound like we just casually Whee! smacked Maximus in the face. All right, let's finish this uh, reel, and then we'll uh, just have reel one to go, which we're about... We're actually done most of. Which is pretty good. We, we can do the rest of it now. Because we have the toy idea. All right, let's go bust this protection smell up. Yeah, when I first played the game, it took me it took me way too long to figure out. I had to hit her to the sarcophagus and then ventriloquist the sarcophagus. Is what's keeping us from nabbing the devil's toy box? Mm hmm. But we have we have some hieroglyph blocks. It's a perfectly fine protection spell, but I think we can improve it. Oh, we totally can. Yeah. Now that's an inscription. Mm hmm. Whoa. Careful, Samus. The commotion. Did I cast that protection spell, or didn't I? Hmm, can't remember. Well, no harm in giving it another shot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stop, 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 stop! No! Look! Well, hey, it's ours now. No moles in sight. Stone Guardian guys, otherwise occupied. Unbreakable spell of protection, broken. Nothing standing between us and that toy box but air. Come on, little buddy, let's go get it.
And there we go. I think this is where we came in. Mm -hmm. I'm experiencing a newfound sense of respect for our forebears, Samoth. I mean, Sam. I know how you feel, little buddy. Say what you will about our gene pool. It did manage to produce a couple of winners. It, it, sure. Mm -hmm. You guys are winners! <laughs> we out the squall of death in a dirty boiler room. Yeah. Yeah. That is where we end up. All right, we've done two of them. Let's go and finish this one, and we can finally get our big reward. Who among you possesses the power to pass through the gate of the Sphinx? Is there not in this great city one man who has what it takes? Nope, maybe Speed one dog and one bunny. Like... Where are we going, Samoth? Little Arctic Circle. All right, yeah, we are, because we have the toy idea. All right. Well, they're still All right. I remember wandering in this town for a while, but I think it's because I literally just didn't have the thing I needed from real hey, uh, two and three. <laughs> Get the dog in the suit. Nice hat, mister. Well, toy stores closed for the day, gentlemen. To use, anyhow. Mm -hmm. All right, assholes. We've got a toy idea that'll knock your stripy socks off. Lay it on us. Mm -hmm. If it's as good as you say, we'll happily hand this can of nuts over to you. Biplane. It's a toy biplane. He's on to something there. Air travel's the latest thing. It can't mm -hmm. miss. Snow come. Get the boys working on a prototype. Post haste. I'll spring it on the boss when he's good and jollied up on milk and cookies. <laughs> it's a cinch he'll give us the old ho ho ho. <laughs> Raises all around. Do you mind giving us that can? Oh, that. I love to, Mac, but uh, me friend here is sort of attached to it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's part of him. What do you say we remove some parts from some elves? After you. <laughs> you ow, 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 hey, hey, ow, stop, ow. I should have just done this to begin with. That stuff that comes out of them when they splatter. Uh, sure, people use it to thicken eggnog. <laughs> yeah, ten whole seats with it, and yeah, sound max just reincarnate over and over again. All right, so we got that. I believe we're gonna talk to the mole woman. I think you can actually screw yourself if you actually do this so fast and don't get the uh, cucumber line. From her, you can actually wreck yourself in this episode. Oh, my friend, I could paste on your lips a big kiss with much moist fluid from the mouth. Sure, lady. Yeah. You have pried can of nuts from grasping clutches of loathsome elves. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now you have come to give can to Mole Woman. Uh, no. uh... Best if we hang on to it for the time being. I see. Elves maybe are planning counterattack. Right, and we need your help to counter the counterattack. Mm -mm. Hmm? Just on a hypothetical, what would it mean if I found an inscription with a bat and three hands? Ah, you've discovered the reverse oh, okay. curse. Mm -hmm. What's the reverse curse? Handa, handa, handa. That's the universal undo code in Egyptian magic. <laughs> it negates any spell that come before. Interesting. Right. As for a bat, you know that's the Wumpire curse. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You're not giving Wumpire reverse curse to foul elf, are you? No. Wouldn't dream of it. No. I would. I would never do that. What do you know about a protection spell? Ooh, so she's like a, a hint person. You're kind of really supposed to come back here. More mages. My father, um, for instance. Oh, right, yeah, that's how you learn how to undo the protection spell. It's hand, 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 and I just did it anyway. Like, the game is kind of good about that, just letting you do it without having to, like... Other point-and-click games would force me to come back here, talk to her, find out it's hand, 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 and then do it. Like, Sam Max is just like, yeah, you just do it. You know you have to do it, you just do it. Keep on cursing. Okie dokie. Yeah, so you're supposed to come back to her and find out... Like this stuff. So, but I think I can just, um. I guess use the can of nuts and finish this reel. Hey, Mac, could nope, you tell nope. me that? <laughs> I did it to him again! Especially because I'm trying to click over here to go back to the theater. Guess I can only do it on this screen. Yeah, we saw the hand, hand, hand on the vampire scroll. 
That's what you were saying, like, uh, well, how do you well, how do you know what scroll that is? It's like, oh yeah, it's the Han-Han-Han, it's a reverse spell. Who can penetrate the gate of the Sphinx? Me, me, I can penetrate the gate of the Sphinx. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me! Be my guest. The gift may kick in on the next... Impressive. Now for the supreme test. Thankfully, and yeah. The inner gate. Again, it, um, passed a quarter once. it skips right to this stage so that you don't have to re put in the, the password and stuff, which is good. We did it! Woo! You've done it! You have beaten the challenge of the Sphinx! You are the gifted one I have been searching for! I'm the gifted one! I'm his manager. <laughs> no matter, Hell yeah. I've got tickets for both of you. Tomorrow morning, you set off for sunny Egypt aboard the Disorient Express. Mm -hmm. Gee, thanks. I may weep with gratitude, mm -hmm. but that's not all. An even more fabulous prize awaits you, and another challenge should you choose to accept it. I charge you with the task of delving into the actual tomb of Samun Mak and recovering the legendary Devil's Toy Box. Is that all? Say no more. We're on the case. Time to roll out Plan B. Ugh. So I did those completely out of order, but that's fine. That's fine. No, no final embrace, no slow fade, no interminable credit sequence with cheesy pop cover of the title tune? Nope. No, it ain't over yet, little buddy. We've still got the most important reel to go, remember? I think the story's about to come to a head. And uh, speaking of coming to a head, I need to duck out for a minute. Don't you start the last reel without me. <laughs> Sam has to piss, guys. And Max ain't one for waiting. So tell me, Samoth and Maximus, to begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? Magical can o nuts. After we got the can of nuts back from the elves, my little buddy and I squished into it and rode the Sphinx's tongue through the gate. An astounding story, all the more convincing for being implausible. Now do we get our... However... Once inside the tomb of Samun Mak, you are faced with many more dangers. Magic spells, deadly traps, bloodthirsty mole men. However, did you manage to beat the odds and secure the devil's toy box? Hmm. Ah, uh, we undid the track and field. Woo! Cleverly noting that Grandpa Mole took his cues from a hieroglyphic inscription, we turned ourselves into bas-relief tune carvings, shuffled over to the marquee where the inscription was located, and added additional glyphs which had the effect of reversing the spell. We sure did. Yeah, we got eaten and spit up by an asp. What a strange and mm -hmm. compelling, if convoluted, story. Audience, give them a hand for what they've been through. Woo! Woo! The adventure does not end there. I'm told that you two were victims of a brazen daytime heist yeah, on the sure train ride were. back from mm -hmm. Egypt. Can you tell the audience how you managed to thwart the thief and recover the treasure? Oh, there was a lot of shenanigans. We, we did beat up a baby, though. Juice Ex Machina and Plot Twist and Misunderstandings Ahoy. The robbery was committed by none other than that irrepressible scamp, Baby Amelia Earhart. She almost got away with it, but we were a little too tough for her. A resourceful duo, don't you agree? That's uh -huh. nice. Mm -hmm. Now, how about that reward? Fear not, my talented little logomorph. You will receive your reward, right? No! Uh-oh. Yep, you have to do all the stuff beforehand, yeah. You have chosen to play the starring role in the greatest spectacle of the age. The summoning of Yog Sagar. The hell I have! Where's Samet? Yog Sagoth, most terrible of the ancient ones, banished from the self the plane for six long millennia. But you, with your extraordinary psychic gift, you will intone the words to bring him from the realm of darkness into the light. You can't make me! The hell I 
will. Zack Plane! Yes, the hell you will. If you refuse to play your role, a certain friend Ooh. of yours will meet an unfortunate demise. Some of these toys are familiar, an some are unfamiliar. Demise in a vat of flesh eating ants. Oh, ugh. Yikes. Yikes. Are you sure this role is me? You are the one with the gift. Which reminds me. Can't have you pulling any funny business. Mm -hmm. Alright then, let's get it over with. Cue up the entrance music. Yog Sagoth, primal prince of chaotic night, descend to us through the writhing wastes of utter darkness. We summon thee with the deathless words from the Book of Abominations. Now you say, Umke Onine, the other race Einfe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we ain't gonna do that shit. Ooh. Okay, uh, stall, stall for yeah, that I'm time. Not feeling it. What's my motivation supposed to be? Abject fear. Right. Hmm, okay, there we go. Yeah, part four, alright. We need a plan. Yikes. That's a nice pit of ants right there. Hmm. Nice atmospheric touch. Hmm. Looks like the counterweight for the moon. What have I got? Uh, a newspaper and some cookies. Uh -uh. I can switch to Max, but there's a. Uh... Onto the dark side, Charlie. Those are some creepy toys. Mm -hmm. It was a trick can after all. Yeah, it was. Those are some creepy toys. Yeah, Samus unfortunately the doesn't. Uh... Oh, hang on. Um... The nostrils are shut. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, no point in that. I have to get someone on the tongue. <laughs> now you say, Umke Onine, the other race I'm fey. That gun would be uh, really useful. I see him! Uh, there he is! In the chest! Yog Sagoth! Tentacles, glowing red eyes. Yep, gotta be him! Shorter than I expected him to be. Let me see! Where? Where? Look close. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that helps. Nice atmospheric touch. I know I've got to do that because then I've got to do the nostrils, but like, how do I get the nostrils open? Looks like the counterweight for the moon. Mm hmm. No. Ha, ah, yeah, totally. That's a cookie nice. right, bunny. Ah! I won't tolerate any more of your tricks. Say the words, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. face the consequences. Yeah, I've only Sam had a gun. Okay, I know I've got to, like, do the counterweight so the moon falls on the tongue. Um... Ooh, hang on. Nice atmospheric touch. Okay, okay. Um. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to lower that into the tongue, put the cookies in the nostril, and then, like, it'll blow him out. But getting to that point is where it is. Okay. Um. Okay, I have a flaming newspaper with the. Ah! Mm hmm. There we go. This is where my ski ball expertise pays off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Charlie, am I glad to see? <coughs> <laughs> okay, so now I have I have Charlie. I also know there's a death if you wait too long, which is kind of funny. I I kind of will show that off. Um, I know. I actually don't know what happens if now you like. You yeah, let's see. It. Onine, the other way's Einfe. Let's just see what happens when we do that. Okay, on in a the other way's Einfe. It's happening. Yeah, well, we aim to please. Catch around. Wait, 
One little thing I forgot to mention. Yag Zagar demands the sacrifice. That's your problem. Of the one in the summoning circle. What the? Such a pity. Welcome, my lord. Whoa, forget this. <laughs> Things like this are unsuitable for impressionable viewers like me. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yuck, Sagat, Yuck, Sagat. When your body waxes is wrong. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice if he had a theme song. Say your line. Nope. All right, so yeah, I know if we wait long enough, um, then Sam will get lowered at the pit of ants. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get that happen. I actually don't know how long it takes. I'm sure it does happen, though. I'm sure there is, like, a, uh, a time limit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay. I get a little bit lower, a little bit lower each time. All right. So we know that uh, doing the magic words gets him sacrificed, so that's what we do. We just switch places and then ventriloquism in. Yeah, so I'm gonna learn, like, like guy for drowning and just take some time. That counterweight's back. This is, this one is a bit more lethal than most Sam and Max's game, and the theming does allow for them to do deaths that don't, like, require you to, like, reload and stuff. So it's quite good, I like it. How, how long will it take? Come on. That's true, they are Samoth and Maximus. Time on this is very generous, I guess. Now you say, um okay, on it? Okay, so... Um okay, on <laughs> Secondhand smoke! In mm -hmm. tone! In tone. Alright, come on, lower me into the pit. Lower me into the pit. Go on, do it, do it. Pit, pit. Pit, pit, pit. All right, it's taking a while. Hang on. Oh, hang on, I have to. Uh... Now you say. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll trick him. Uh, just gonna do it. I just You're don't seem to be getting lowered into that pit. You cute little demon. Would you like you little yorks of golf? Look close. We do end up summoning the Eldritch Abomination, which seems like a bad idea. Okay, on in a the other ways I'm fed. Uh oh. Well, that was impressively grotesque. We certainly gave the audience their money's worth, wouldn't you say, folks? What about this thing? Oh, that's right. Can't have the devil's toy box falling into any other villainous hands. Where should we stash it? It's true. What is an elder abomination compared to Max? I appreciate your thinking of us, but we don't do that old world hocus pocus anymore. I got a nice dry cleaning business. And Nefertiti is mm -hmm. going to school for... Dad! I told you! It isn't Nefertiti anymore! It's Bubbles. All right. Sorry we can't help you, but you see how it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we see how it is. Come mm -hmm. on, Maximus. Boy, America sure has changed these guys. I hardly recognize them. Look, Samoth, they even sliced their cucumbers lengthwise. <gasps> It is true. <gasps> have we fallen so far? We have forgotten our heritage. We have forgotten we are moles. Okay, we'll take the toy chest back. Great, keep us posted. If... But you've got to help us guard it. You will live here in this boiler room with us. There's plenty of space. Uh, How about no. we compromise? Our kids will open an office in the building and help you keep an eye on the chest. We've got kids? Shut up, Maximus. <laughs> it's a deal. Mm, now let's see. We'd better cast that spell of protection to keep it safe. Let me do it, Dad. Stand over there so you don't get zapped by the magic. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> let's see. How does it go again? 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Holstein Hex! You're not turning me into no cow! Oh, no! Maximus! No! You know, there's a great basement apartment opening up on 83rd Street. Two bedrooms, built-in washer-dryer. No! Oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, that went poorly. What an end. Two skeletons, four mouldering reels of film, and one buried toy box. A century-old story, now forgotten in the sub-basement of history. But the past has a disconcerting tendency to claw through the freshly laid sod of the present and wrap its cadaverous fingers around the entrails of the future. Well, that took longer than expected. The restroom in the train station was closed, so I had to... Hey! You watched the ending without me, didn't you, you malevolent little fiend? Yeah. So tell me, what was the big final act twist? Samoth and Maximus dragged underground by sex-crazed anarchist sewer rats? Come on, little buddy. Don't keep me in suspense. Obviously, the story was moving towards some mind-boggling final twist. So what was it? Max, what's wrong with... you? Little buddy? No! Oh, someone took his brain! Keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. The ride is about to get twisty. Oh no. Yeah, they stole Max's brain. They did. It's gone. All right. Yeah, that was uh, episode two. I am... Um... I actually far liked it this time around more than I did like the other times I played it. Mostly because I didn't get stuck as much because I... I don't know, I guess I just knew what it was. And even though I was like, I couldn't have told you what that puzzle was, I did have vague memories of doing it before. And it wasn't all that long ago I played it again with uh, Vickers, so... Yeah, so yeah, but the puzzles in that one can get very weird, especially when you're like, if you're like to jump between the three reels. Like, if you don't know what to do in reel three, and then you go back to reel one, and you have to talk to her, and then you have to jump to reel two, and then you get stuck in reel two, and... You're like, oh, maybe I have to go to a different reel to figure out this puzzle, and yeah. But it's certainly uh, an interesting concept. It's certainly, I like the deaths. Um, I feel it kind of works, but yeah, the puzzles, if you don't know what you're doing, can be very complicated. And you, I, the first time I played this game, I got stuck in this episode for ages. Like, the part two, part one, part three, I just, you get stuck so much. Yeah, the geometry reels is the big thing. It totally makes you think the answer is a different reel. When you get stuck, you're like, maybe I just don't have the thing I need. Um, I turns out most of the time you do. Um, and if I jump between them more, it probably would have made more coherent sense, like when I got cursed with the back and forth, but... Oh no, it kind of works. Um, I would have said this was my least favourite. I'm not sure it is now, because I enjoyed that a lot more. But again, I enjoyed it a lot more because I didn't get stuck anywhere near as much. Oh, no epilogue for this one, because we already got it. Someone stole Max's brain. Alright, that only took about two and a half hours. It's not bad. Um, that's about as fast as one of these episodes will go, so... Looks like I can probably get through an episode of stream. Uh, might take longer for the next ones. Definitely, I remember the first one and the second episode far more than any episode that's going to come in. The first one, definitely, I remembered really well. Uh, yeah, there are a few puzzles that really do actually expect you to collect information. But otherwise, you don't have to hop anywhere near as much as you think. But yeah. I was really supposed to go back to that mole woman and talk to her at some point. 
But yeah, I got, I got stuck in this one a lot my first time through. Um, don't really remember episodes three through five as well as these two. So I'll probably get stuck a lot more and it'll take a lot longer. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Everyone enjoyed Sam and Max uh, season three, episode two. Uh, Sam and Max season three definitely likes its uh, cliffhangers between episodes. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I like the Sam and Max games a lot. If you haven't played them before, definitely do. And I will be back next week with episode three. They stole Max's brains. Thank you guys for the resubs. You're great. We will be back uh, tomorrow with Celeste. So that'll be fun. Um, I don't know if we'll be finishing Celeste. We've got a bunch of the B-sides to do. And then we'll look at the C-sides. But we probably won't actually like do the stream, the C-sides on stream. They'll probably take like several hours. So and there may be one or two more Celeste streams. Um... If you are a $5 patron, there is a poll for the game we will play on Thursdays after Celeste. Currently Digimon's winning. And there's a couple of days left on that poll, so if you want to you wanna change that, uh, you can vote. Or you can just make sure we play Digimon next. <laughs> Bye everyone, we'll see you tomorrow, and I'll see you next week for more 7 Max.